Are you looking to take your Python skills to the next level? If yes, then this tutorial is for you. In this video, we will explore some of the exciting Python GUI libraries like Kinter, PyQt, PySide, WXPython and more. And before proceeding further, I have an insight for you guys. If you are aiming to get certified as an AI and ML engineer and want to build a career in AI, in that case, you can check the professional certificate program in AI and machine learning that is in collaboration with IBM and Purdue University by SimpliLearn which will open the doors for the best career opportunities. To find the details of professional certificate program in AI and machine learning, you can check the link in the description box below and pin comment. And now, let us have a simple question to brush upon our knowledge. And your question is, what is TK in Kinter Python? And your options are, first option, it's a widget. Second option, it's a function. Third option, it's a constructor. And the fourth option, all of the above. Please answer in the comment section below and we'll update the correct answer in the pinned comment. You can pause the video, give it a thought and answer in the comment section. Now, coming back to a Python GUI frameworks. The first question that should arise in your mind should be why to use Python GUI frameworks. Python GUI frameworks are used to create graphical user interface for applications. GUIs make it easy for users to interact with an application and they are critical component of modern software. There are several reasons to use Python GUI frameworks for building GUI applications. The first reason is cross-platform support. Python GUI frameworks are often cross-platform, which means that they can run on multiple operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. This makes it easy to build applications that can be used by a wider audience without having to create separate versions for different platforms. Second is rapid development. Python GUI frameworks can speed up the development process of building GUI applications. Many frameworks comes with pre-built widgets such as buttons and text boxes that can be easily customized and incorporated into an application. This can reduce development time and allow developers to focus on the functionality of the application. Third, easy to learn. Python is a popular programming language that is known for its simplicity and ease of use. Many Python GUI frameworks are also easy to learn and have extensive documentation and tutorials. This makes it easy for beginners to get started with building GUI applications. And the fourth is large community. Python has a large and active community of developers who create and maintain GUI frameworks. This means that there are many resources available, such as forums and libraries that can help developers solve problems and add new features to their applications. And the next feature is integration with Python libraries. Python GUI frameworks can integrate with other Python libraries, which makes it easy to add functionality to an application. For example, a developer can use a GUI framework to create a user interface for a data analysis application and integrate it with a data analysis library like NumPy or Pandas. In summary, Python GUI frameworks provide cross-platform support, speed of development time, and easy to learn, and have a large community and can integrate with other Python libraries. These benefits make Python GUI frameworks an excellent choice for building modern applications. Now, we'll explore some of the popular GUI frameworks. There are numerous GUI frameworks available for Python, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. We will start with Kinter. Kinter is a Python library for creating graphical user interfaces that is included in the standard library. It provides a set of tools and widgets for building applications with a graphical user interface and is based on the TK GUI toolkit, which was originally developed for the TCL programming language. Kinter provides a wide range of GUI components, including buttons, labels, text boxes, menus, list boxes, check boxes, radio buttons, and more. These components can be used to build complex user interfaces with multiple windows, dialogues, and panels. One of the key features of Kinter is event-driven programming model. When a user interacts with the Kinter application, events are generated by the user's actions, such as clicking a button or selecting an item from a list. These events are then handled by the application code, which can update the user interface or perform other tasks in response. Kinter also provides support for creating custom widgets and dialogues as well as for drawing graphics and animations using the canvas widget. Additionally, Kinter can be extended with third-party libraries and modules, such as Matplotlib for plotting data and Pillow for image processing. And if we talk about the advantages, the first advantage is it is easy to learn and use. The second is cross-platform. And the third is it has large community and has many resources available. And now we'll talk about some of the disadvantages. So the first disadvantage is Default look and feel is not modern. The second is limited set of widgets. And the third is does not support threading. 
Now, we have our second GUI framework that is PyQt. PyQt is a Python binding for the Qt GUI framework, which is a popular and powerful cross-platform GUI toolkit that provides a comprehensive set of widgets and tools for creating modern and responsive desktop and mobile applications. PyQt allows developers to use Python to create Qt-based applications and user interface with ease. PyQt is distributed under the GPL and commercial licenses, which makes it suitable for both open source and commercial development. It provides a wide range of modules that cover everything from basic GUI programming to advanced multimedia, network, and database functionality. Here are some of the key features of PyQt. The first feature is cross-platform support. PyQt supports multiple platforms including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and mobile platforms like Android and iOS. Second is easy to use. PyQt is easy to learn and use, especially for developers familiar with Python. Its API is well documented and provides a high level of abstraction that simplifies GUI development. Third is rich set of widgets. PyQt provides a wide range of widgets and tools that allows developers to create advanced and modern GUIs. Some of these widgets include buttons, labels, text boxes, tables, menus, and many more. The fourth is customizable styles. PyQt allows developers to customize the appearance and behavior of widgets using style sheets. This makes it possible to create unique and visually appealing user interfaces. Signals and slots. PyQt uses a signals and slots mechanism to handle events and communication between widgets. This mechanism allows developers to create complex interactions between widgets with minimal code. Now we'll talk about the advantages of PyQt. The first advantage is modern and customizable look and feel. And the second advantage is large set of widgets and tools. The third is well documented with many resources available. And if we talk about the disadvantages, it has the steep learning curve. And the second disadvantage is not as lightweight and fast as some other frameworks. Third is requires licensing for commercial use. And the third GUI framework is Kiwi. Kiwi is an open source Python GUI framework designed for building multi-touch applications and user interfaces. It allows developers to create cross-platform applications that can run on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Kiwi is based on a natural user interface and uses a graphic engine to render user interfaces that are touch-enabled. This makes it ideal for creating applications that use touch, gestures, and other forms of natural user interaction. One of the key benefits of using Kiwi is that it enables rapid development and prototyping. It has a straightforward syntax that is easy to learn and it supports a wide range of widgets and UI elements. Developers can use Kiwi to create rich, interactive applications that incorporate multimedia, graphics, and animations. Kiwi also includes support for a wide range of input devices including touchscreen, mouse, and keyboard. It also includes support for multi-touch gestures such as pinch to zoom, swipe, and rotate. Kiwi is built on top of OpenGL, which provides hardware acceleration for the graphics engine. This means that Kiwi applications can be highly performant and responsive, even when running on low power devices. In summary, Kiwi is a powerful GI framework for building multi-touch applications and user interfaces. It is easy to learn, supports a wide range of input devices, and enables rapid development and prototyping. Its use of OpenGL provides hardware acceleration and high performance, making it an excellent choice for developing cross-platform applications. Now, talking about the advantages of Kiwi, the first advantage is it is designed for building modern and dynamic user interfaces. The second is easy to use with a large community. The third is cross-platform and runs on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android. And now talking about the disadvantages. The first disadvantage is not as widely used as some other frameworks. The second disadvantage is widget set is not as extensive as some other frameworks. And the third disadvantage is some performance issues on older hardware. And our next GUI framework is PySide. PySide is a GUI framework for Python. It is a set of Python bindings for the Qt application framework and runs on all major platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and mobile platforms such as Android and iOS. PySide allows Python developers to create sophisticated and interactive graphical user interfaces for their applications with ease. It provides a rich set of libraries, widgets, and tools that allow developers to create applications with complex and intuitive user interfaces. The framework includes a number of features such as the first feature is cross-platform support. PySide is designed to work on all major platforms, so developers can write code once and deploy it on multiple platforms. The second is high performance. PySide applications are fast and responsive even when dealing with large data sets or complex visualizations. And the third feature is extensive widget library. PySide provides a rich set of widgets, including buttons, labels, text boxes, sliders, and many more that can be easily customized and arranged to create intuitive user interfaces. 
And the next is easy to use designer tools. PySide includes a visual designer tool that allows developers to drag and drop widgets onto a form and then customize their properties, styles and behaviors. And the next feature is MVC architecture. PySite follows the model view controller MVC architecture, which helps developers separate the user interface from the application logic, making it easier to manage and maintain code. And the next feature is support for internationalization. PySite provides built-in support for internationalization, allowing developers to create applications that can be localized to different languages and regions. In summary, PySite is a powerful and flexible GUI framework for Python that provides a rich set of libraries tools and widgets for creating sophisticated and interactive user interfaces on multiple platforms. And talking about its advantages, the first advantage is it has similar set of widgets and tools as PyQt. The second is LGPA licensed. And the third is cross-platform. Now talking about the disadvantages, the first disadvantage is smaller community than PyQt. The next is less documentation and resources. And the third is some performance issues on older hardware. Now we have our next GUI framework that is WX Python. WX Python is a popular open source GUI framework for Python programming language. It is a wrapper around the C++ based WX widgets library that provides a native look and feel to GUI applications across different platforms like Windows, Linux and Mac OS. WX Python is a cross platform toolkit which means that you can create GUI applications that can run on different operating systems. It provides a wide range of widgets that can be used to create complex GUI applications and some of commonly used widgets include buttons, text boxes, check boxes, radio buttons, list boxes and combo boxes. Additionally, it also supports creating custom widgets to suit specific needs. Now we'll talk about some of the features of WX Python. The first is native look and feel. WX Python provides a native look and feel to GUI applications across different platforms. It supports the standard look and feel of each operating system. The second feature is object oriented. WX Python follows the object oriented approach which makes it easier to write and maintain code. And the next feature is event driven. WX Python follows an event driven programming model which means that the code is executed in response to user events such as button clicks or key presses. The next feature is customizable. WX Python allows you to create custom widgets, dialogues and frames to suit specific needs. And the next feature is extensive documentation. WX Python has extensive documentation including API references and tutorials. And the next feature is rich set of widgets. WX Python provides a rich set of widgets that can be used to create complex GUI applications. Now talking about the advantages of WX Python. The first advantage is native look and feel on all platforms. The next is large set of widgets and tools. And the next one is easy to use with a large community. And now we'll talk about the disadvantages of WX Python. The first is not as lightweight as some other frameworks. The next is documentation is not as extensive as other frameworks. And the third is widget set is not as modern as other frameworks. PyGTK is a Python binding for popular GUI toolkit GTK, which is used to create graphical applications for desktop environments. PyGTK provides a set of Python modules that allow developers to create GUI applications in Python programming language. GTK provides a set of widgets that can be used to create user interfaces such as buttons, labels, text boxes, sliders and menus. These widgets can be combined to create more complex interfaces. PyGTK also includes support for event handling which allows developers to respond to user input such as mouse clicks and key presses. Event handling is done through callbacks which are functions that are called when an event occurs. Another important feature of PyGTK is its support for internationalization. PyGTK provides tools for translating applications into different languages and for displaying text in the appropriate language, it is based on user's locale. PyGTK also provides support for theming, which allows developers to change the look and feel of an application by changing the visual styles of the widgets. PyGTK applications can be run on multiple platforms including Linux, Windows and Mac OS. The GTK toolkit and PyGTK library are born open source software and are freely available for anyone to use and modify. Overall, PyGTK is a powerful GUI framework that allows developers to create rich graphical applications with Python. Its ease of use, flexibility and cross-platform support make it a popular choice for developers to develop desktop applications. Now we'll talk about the advantages of PyGTK. The first is native look and feel on Linux and Unix based systems. The second is easy to use with a large community. And the third is large set of widgets and tools. Now we'll talk about the disadvantages of PyGTK library. The first disadvantage is limited cross-platform support. The second is limited set of widgets compared to some other frameworks. And the third is 
documentation is not as extensive as other frameworks. Now we have our next GUI framework that is Pyforms. Pyforms is a Python based GUI framework for creating desktop applications with minimal effort. It is a powerful and flexible tool that simplifies the process of creating graphical interfaces for data management and visualization. Pyforms offers a range of features that make it an excellent choice for developers looking to create desktop applications quickly and efficiently. Some of these features include the first is cross platform support. Pyforms is compatible with multiple platforms including Windows, Linux, and macOS. Pyforms offer a drag and drop GUI builder that enables developers to create user interfaces quickly without writing code. And the third is customizable widgets. Pyforms includes a wide range of customizable widgets that developers can use to create advanced graphical interfaces. And the next is MVC architecture. Pyforms follows the model view controller architecture pattern which separates the user interface logic from the data management and application logic. The next feature is data visualization tools. Pyforms include powerful data visualization tools that make it easy to create charts, graphs, and other visual representation of data. And the next feature is multi-language support. Pyforms support multiple language supports including English, French, and Spanish, which makes it a popular choice for international developers team. And the next feature is built-in testing tools. Pyforms include built-in testing tools that enable developers to test their applications easily. And the next feature we have is active community. Pyforms has an active community of developers who contribute to the framework and provide support through forums and other channels. Pyforms is a great choice for developers looking to create desktop applications with minimal effort. Its cross-platform support, drag and drop GUI builder, customizable widgets, MVC architecture, data visualization tools, multiple language support, built-in testing tools, and active community make it a powerful and flexible tool for creating desktop applications. Now, if we talk about its advantages, the first advantage is easy to use with a modern look and feel. The second is large set of widgets and tools. The third is cross-platform. Now, if we talk about its disadvantages, the first disadvantage is smaller community than some other frameworks. The second is less documentation and resources than other frameworks. Overall, each of these libraries has its own strengths and weaknesses, so it's important to choose the one that best fits your needs and skill set. Long story short, the best GUI framework for you depends on your needs. For absolute beginners, PySimple GUI is a great starting point, while those looking for more advanced features might prefer WXPython or PyQt5. If you need a touchscreen UI, Kiwi is recommended, and for form-driven applications, Pyform is a good choice. If you are still using Python 2, you can try PyGUI, PySci2, or WXPython, but you should be aware that Python 2 is no longer supported. With that, we have come to the end of this session. I hope the session was interesting and informative. If you liked it, please let us know in the comment section below. Also, do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Till then, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.